Hello, my name is Jilksy, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to spread Arctic Silver 5, which is now the preferred choice for everyone that uh, repairs their PlayStation 3s. Now, due to its nature, it's probably one of the best thermal compounds you can get for this job. Now, just to settle a few arguments. People have been saying that uh, if you don't put enough on, it doesn't work properly. With Arctic Silver 5, that's completely the opposite. The idea is it has got millions of little microscopic granules of silver which fill the imperfections in the machining on these plates. Now, that's the only thing you need to do. You need to just basically make sure you've got a smooth on smooth contact with the heatsink so the more of this stuff you put on the more it actually creates a barrier for the heat to get through so you need to put a thin I say almost transparent but if if you're using this stuff you're not going to see through it because it's like silvery the white acacia you could get it transparent but this it's uh, you won't get it transparent but you've got to get it as thin as possible and I'm going to show you the easiest way i found to put this stuff on okay let's zoom in right the first thing we do is we put a blob smack bang in the middle about that big and you get your finger and basically you spread it around and what you want to do is just keep on spreading See how far a small little blob goes? You go caking it on, what you'll actually do is make the situation worse. I'm actually applying quite a bit of pressure on this because Arctic Silver 5 is very thick. Okay, so and what you're doing, you're looking for the uniform smoothish shape like that, okay? It doesn't look very pretty because the camera zoomed right in on it but that's what you're looking for okay, that's one done let's move on to the RSX Right, same with this. You can reuse your finger, which has still got some on. Okay, but we want to put blob in the middle, just so you can gauge how much I'm using here. One of these 3.5 gram tubes will actually do in the region of about 10 PlayStations. So that's a good gauge on how much I'm actually putting on the chips it's hardly any All right. so again work it round with your finger Make sure you've got the whole surface covered. Okay. What I'm 
doing there is just just going over it to take off any peaks. Okay, there you go. Let's zoom out on that one. So there you have it. Two processes thermally compounded and as you can see I still have quite a bit left on my finger which I'll scrap. Okay, good luck and uh, as you can see don't put too much compound on because you could be making the job worse. Thank you.